Okay, let's look at section D of this question. I need to get rid of these writings, this previous work before um, we continue so that I can make some space. All right, let me just get rid of um, some of these as well. Now, part D says, given that the density of the material used to make the cylinder is 2.2 grams per cm cube, determine the mass in kilogram of the empty container. Density is mass divided by volume. All right. They want the mass in kilogram of the container. Now, if density equal mass divided by volume and they want mass, you're going to have to um, transpose this equation. Let's transpose this equation. So if density is mass over volume and I want mass alone equal, then I must multiply by V to get rid of V here. V cancels V, so on the right I have ma uh, mass alone equal. But then I must multiply by V on the left as well. So it's density times volume. So mass is going to be density times volume. All right? Switching, switching it around to make mass on the left. Now, they say the density is 2.2 grams per cm cube. So the mass equals density, which is 2.2 times volume. Let me put in the units. You don't necessarily have to put in the units. No, but let me put them in grams per cm cube times the volume. The volume, as you saw before, is 153.14 cm cube. Let me get rid of what I have before to make space. So now, I had put in the units. Now you notice that the cm cube here, this is gram per cm cube, I mean over cm cube, it's under, it's in the denominator and the cm cube is in the numerator. So you can see that cm cube cancels cm cube and mass in gram remains. All right. I just did that to show that the units would work out as well. So the mass is going to be 2.2 multiplied by 115, 53.14. Complete that, multiply it, and see what you get. 2.2 times 115, 53.14 equals, and I get... 254.16.9 so 25,000 uh, 2.2 times 11.55.3 I got 25,416.9 grams now what they said was determine the mass in kilograms. So how many kilograms is this? What you need to do is divide by a thousand. Because one thousand 
grams make one kilogram and remember this is in grams in order to go from gram to kilogram you divide by a thousand so if I divide by one thousand I get the one so I must divide by one thousand here too so one gram is a thousandth of a kilogram so I need to divide this by a thousand so 25 1416.9 grams divided by a thousand would give me 25 point call it 4 <coughs> 25 let's round it, round it off to 4 25.4 kilograms as the um, the mass of the material that makes the container Of, or the, this is the mass of the empty container.